my video everybody today I'm gonna read a bedtime story for you and hopefully that will help you to relax and fall asleep I'm also I'm gonna try to whisper Sleepyhead and the Night Night Bear. It's a lovely story about a little princess who couldn't fall asleep. in the sky and the kingdom's asleep. The cows are all slumbering. So are the sheep. The ducks are tucked up in the roots of the willow. The rabbit is drowsily nibbling his pillow. All the king horses a snack in a stable. His poodles are cuddled up under the table. The ladies in waiting are all in their beds. The guards have dozed off with the cups on their heads. The king's having dreams about driving a train. The queen having dreams about chocolate again. The palace is silent. The lights are all out. But hold on a moment. Who's up and about? I can't get to sleep. Princess Sleepyhead said, I'm fed up with tossing and turning in bed. I've tried dropping off on my side and my tummy. I've tried lying still on my back like my mummy. I've tried counting sheep, but it's no use at all. I've tried counting all of the spots on my wall. I can't get to sleep. I simply can't do it. So I'll stay up all night. And that's all there's to it. Tui, did you say? Tu, tu you do. Say it all at the window. Good evening to you. Are you still wide awake? Well, that isn't right, a princess, he said, should be sleeping at night. I'll fetch my three friends, they will know what to do. Then all flattered all with another two. Soon after, the princess had three little knocks, and in came the owl with the mouse and the fox. Mouse said, A good bit of running about is just what is needed to tire you out. So, first they played hide and squeak, followed by chase. Then, they had fun in a wheelbarrow race. Now then, said Fox as they fell in a heap, you must be exhausted and ready for sleep. Oh no, laughed the princess. I want to play more. I'm even more wide awake now than before. Princess. 
Alice sat down on the end of her bed and sighed. Well, I will stay up all night, like I said. Oh, chuckled all. But please don't forget, I said I would bring three friends. There are one to come yet. I think I just heard him outside on a stair. And then into the room stepped a big, friendly bear. Ho, ho, ho. My name is Bartolomeo Brown for Brown. I hear the princess who can't settle down. Some people call me the sleepy time Ted. Perhaps I can help you, the friendly bear said. Probably not, Princess Sleepyhead said. Mouse, fox and all have already tried, so no one could get her to sleep. And then this little teddy bear, well not little, quite big one, he start read a book for her about prin- the princess, like the, uh, oh, and about the tiny pea under a princess bed that kept her awake all the night until dawn. How daft Princess Sleepyhead said with a yawn. Oh, oh somebody's yawning. Bartolomeo said, Shall I read you another? As he plumped up her pillows and pulled up the cover. She whispered, Yes, please. Started to tell of Princess who went to sleep under a spell. It's a um, sleepy beauty. She slept for a hundred long years, so they say. And then a handsome young prince came and woke her one day. Bartolomeo tucked up the drowsy princess. Shall I finish the story? She said, oh yes. What brought her up? The bear said, a kiss. Perhaps it was something a little like this. (coughs) Then bear and his friends whispered, night night, sleep tight, as they slipped from in the sky and the kingdom asleep. The cows are all slumbering, so are the sheep. It's a bad time in a castle, but one little princess just can't drift off. Can the big friendly night-night bear help the little princess? Yes, he can. And he did help her to fall asleep. video help you relax as well a little bit and forget all your troubles all your problems and you fall asleep thank you for watching me i mean listening me and please like and subscribe and i see you very 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 soon